Hello everybody, this is Canuto with another episode of Tormentum Dark Sorrow, and you'll have to give me a moment because I completely fucking forgot to put my timer on. Okay, and we're good. So, in the last episode we went from the desert, there's blood outside, we went from the desert to this snowy place. Thank you once more for helping me start this old train again. Because of you I was able to make this one last journey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I helped you out. So, oh, nice. Okay, that's not blood on the ground, that's just the ground. I cannot believe I finally made it to Frozen Tears. Starting the train was no easy task. None of this was an easy task. <gasps> that's the place! That's the place! The sculpture from my dreams. I hope it brings my memories back. My orders are not to let anyone in. Orders are orders! Talk to our commander. Uh, that's a strange lock. Is there anything around here that I need? It's an old armchair, nothing interesting. Nope, nothing I need. Hi? Greetings, traveler. You probably seek the place of redemption, as do all who come here. What is wrong with your face, and is your hat a part of your face? I think your hat is your face. Getting there is the smallest of problems. The real difficulty lies in awakening it. But let's not stay out here in the cold. Please, let me invite you to my humble home. I don't trust you. I do not trust you. Blacksmith's tools. An empty bowl with a hole in it. Just a bucket of frozen water. Is there anywhere else to go? No, there's not. Why are you holding your arm like that? The old books say that in order to awaken the sculpture on the hill, one must pierce its stone heart with a blade made with a metal from the stars. Obtaining this metal won't be easy, as it is valued highly by the villagers. Many fools have come and tried their luck before you. However, they paid no attention to the metal their blades were made of, and their negligence led to their demise. The required metal is one thing, but the shape of the sword is another matter. Here, my knowledge ends. A long time ago, I helped in the construction of a cathedral on the outskirts of the village. An old man lives there. I don't know if his stories come from his wisdom or madness, but he may be able to help you. You will start your search tomorrow. Tonight, you may sleep in my house. It will be dark soon, and it's better to stay inside after dark in these parts. I don't trust you! The warmth of the fireplace brings peace. My eyelids become heavy. I hear a woman's voice in my dream, calling me. I run towards the sculpture, but rather than getting closer, it seems to get further and further away. Tired, I stop and examine at my hands. Examine my hands. They are drenched in blood. Then, the blacksmith's voice wakes me up. <clears throat> In the dead of night, the village is shrouded by a paralyzing fog. It's not known who has caused this atrocious act. Soon after, knights from the castle come, bringing pain and destruction with them. Well, shit. Blacksmith's bellows. Wait. A uh, chair, the fire. Is that the fog on the ground that I see? Oh, shit. The guard is dead. Well. <clears throat> so wait a minute, I see a sword lying in the background there, and there's fires from what looks like battle. How did they get past the gate? Oh, train conductor, are you alive? <clears throat> uh, won't tell me. Oh, I can go this way. We were attacked at dawn. <coughs> First came the fog. It slowed our movements and clouded our sight. Then came the flying machines. Knights in horned helmets. They appeared out of nowhere. Before we realized what was happening, it was too late. Try to disperse the fog. Find the mage inhabiting the catacombs on the hill and ask him for help. He will know what to do. Take this key. It will open the gate.
Okay, so I could have gone and talked to these people, but I completely did not. Yeah, I... I messed that up. That was my bad. <clears throat> okay, so this key opens the gate. Ha! Ah, the gate mechanism has been damaged during the attack. I must unlock it manually. Um... Okay, you need to go up here. Go down. Go up. You two need to go all the way, and there we go. Success! The gate is opening. That wasn't so much damaged as deliberately put that way. Just saying. Oh. I've gathered the blue flowers. Yeah, let me just rip that flower apart, you know. The coffin is empty. I can't say I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I wouldn't want to see what's inside there either. The table is connected to some strange machinery. The skulls look like somebody's trophies. I think this leads back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to go this way. Aha. Be quiet. Don't make any noise or the dead will wake. They lurk in the darkness awaiting that moment of weakness. I have my eye on them. I watch them through a hole in the wall. Ah, I see a new specimen. I have not seen this one here before. Let me summon him through the transcendence table. Prepare me an extract from the flowers growing up on the hill. I need to activate the table. Go now, this is of utmost importance. Stay here and observe them. You will find one of the flowers needed to activate the table on the lectern beside you. Oh, sweet. That's lucky. Coffins. Oh, that's the mage's coffin. Okay, then. What the fuck is with all this shit on the ground? The table wasn't covered in that crap before. Because I don't think it was. Okay, so the flowers go in. I need four. Four sets of flowers, okay. So let's go further up the hill, and maybe we can find something there. Everybody's tried to cut this fucking thing. Of course, nobody paid attention to what you're supposed to cut it with. Oh my. One can read terrible disappointment on this wretch's face. Yeah! Yeah, terrible disappointment. Definitely. Are you another of those seeking redemption? Many have tried before you, as you see. Myself, I don't intend to end up like those fools around me. I have taken great effort to craft the perfect sword. I can already feel its radiant glow purifying my body. The time of, of atonement is near. Let us cease to be a silent audience. May the spectacle finally begin. Well, let's take flower. At last, stone hands. The woman statue in my dreams was never so cruelly mutilated, though. I don't think I'm supposed to stab her. That's the thing. I don't think I'm supposed to actually stab the statue's heart. That seems like the, the wrong thing to do. The worst thing to do. Oh, hey there. It's him. Where am I? What is this stench? Bound, humiliated, my memory slowly begins to, to return. You freed the queen, and I was pronounced the traitor. I was buried alive. I did not deserve a punishment so cruel. The last thing I remember is darkness, and now I'm here. How can this be? Fate once again crosses our paths, but now it is I who am imprisoned. 
truly is the irony of fate. My life is now in your hands. I beg of you, show mercy and release me. I have had my share of suffering. I will release him. You chose well to free me. I am not the man you met anymore. While my body appears the same, my soul has experienced what may be called a catharsis. Thanks to you, I understand that darkness isn't the opposite of light, but is in fact its cradle, for it is only from darkness that light can be born. It is the best, it is best to part ways in dignity, even though I did wrong in the past. Please let me say farewell in such a manner. Interesting. I can hear that you have activated the transcendence table. I hope you did not tinker with it. It is a very delicate apparatus and can easily summon a malevolent being. Before I proceed to the table, please tell me why you have come here. You speak for paralyzing fog and shrouding the foot of the mountain? I believe I may know what help you. Might know how to help you. Take this powder and throw it against the fog. It may not bring back the dead, but it will clear your way. Well, thank you. The mage spoke the truth. I can see dark silhouettes drifting behind the wall. Huh. I wonder what would happen if I just sat there and watched it. Now leave me. My work requires concentration. I believe the powder in the bag I gave you will disperse the paralyzing fog. Alright, bye mage! Bye! Let me just shout louder so everything will come through the wall! Okay. Aw, oh, the thing died. There goes the fog. <sighs> Everyone died, and I survived. Fish gave me shelter. Want to know what took place here? A fog came that made your body numb, and from the fog came the nights, bringing pain and destruction. Yep. Showed no mercy at all. Why did they even come here? What about the village itself? Lies burning. There is sorrow in the wind today. Can you feel it? A great battle took place here. We were attacked by knights from the castle, obsessed by the idea of purging us of evil. They were aided by someone we once took for a friend. They cast a poisonous fog around our village, leaving us defenseless against the knights. If I'm not mistaken, he belongs to the race of Grey Ikari. You may identify them by their large, tattered wings. He probably sold us for a handful of eggs. Still, we were lucky enough to injure him. He couldn't have gone far. I hope all of you didn't die. Like, really, I I hope that you guys are okay. Because I did not get the chance to talk with all of you. The door is locked. I need a key to get in. Human-shaped statue. There are symbols underneath. I don't know what symbols I need to pass, so I will leave that alone for now. Uh, let's go towards the village. Now lies burning. Hello again, friend. Soon after you gave me the crown, my assistance was requested. I was to protect frozen tears from the castle invaders. The crown turned out to be a worthless piece of metal. I was to gain unlimited power. It was but an empty promise. Legends have played a cruel joke on us. How are you to know? We all make mistakes. Damn it. Should have given it to the rat. Then he would have made the mistake of going against the castle. One night, a winged creature came to our camp 
It asked for shelter, and we gave it shelter. Little did we know it would prove to be a false-hearted traitor, spreading a paralyzing fog under the cover of night. He sold us out for a handful of eggs, undoubtedly. These flying creatures have a weakness for them. Please find him, and I shall offer you my help. He's wounded. He can't be far. Fire consumes everything around. Bike with a hole in its base. Okay, so the keys on the instrument have markings I've never seen before. Okay, so the Akari has to be close. But where can he have gone? Uh, no. Not here. Not here. Aha! Uh -huh. He's on the roof. Uh-huh. <laughs> Meet again. Know that should you have given me the egg, none of this would ever happen. I wouldn't have to sell myself to the castle out of hunger. This is all your fault. Now please, just let me die in peace. I witnessed petty desires leading to great tragedies. Not wasting any more time, I returned to the burned village to report on the results of my search. Have you found the winged traitor? <sighs> Reveal him. Fuck that. Excellent. We will make sure he pays for his crimes before we allow him to die. I have some advice for you. The music will show you the way. Dove. Okay, he's just gonna say the same thing. I hope he lives. I kind of doubt it, but I hope he lives. Kind of notes. Okay, so find the notes. Play them. So... Oh, it's upside down. Okay, so... Um... This one? No. Then... That... That... I did play them. Did I get them right? Hold on. Uh, let's see. So... Two... Three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. Whoa. There we go, got it right. I must have missed one last time. Oh, hey there. Taking the stone disc. I want to see what's happening with the bird. I'm going to go off and, and see that, and then we will move on. So I will be right back. Oh, it won't let me. I completely forgot that this was here. Okay. The lying freak. He got what he deserved. He was hiding on the roof of the blacksmith's house, but we got him anyway. Such is the fate of all traitors. Crucified. Damn. But, frankly, I think he got what he deserved. That entire village is dead because of him. I, I think he deserved it. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Ah, fuck. Uh, let's see. Got it. I think. Is. No. Uh, oh, oh. I see what I did wrong. Something is emerging. That must be the star metal. Okay. So, back to the blacksmith now. The metal itself is not enough. I still need the blueprints for the sword in order to start my work. The old man living in the cathedral should know something. Okay, but the cathedral was locked. And I don't know what the combination is. It might have been hidden somewhere and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, um... I have no idea what the combination is. And I don't really have notes for this area either. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. That... That... That's all part of the same thing, but that's not the correct one. So, let's just keep turning them until it gets the correct one. Aha! There we go. Down it goes. Okay. And then I just need to match these up, which they already seem to be matched up. So I can just... Turn them. No. Uh. Okay. All right. So yeah, those are those are correct. So I'll just turn them until I get the right one. There we go. Got it. That should open the door. I'm betting. Yes. There we go. <laughs> A crown does not a king make. A heart does a king make. A king must have his heart open for all, giving hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is not a dream, it is the way of transforming dreams into reality. Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. Okay, so in order to use the crown, I have to actually have heart. So I'm going to be the king, maybe. We have unexpected visitors, and rather smart too, wielding the power of code breaking. Since you are already here, please tell me how is life outside the cathedral? We rarely leave these walls, you see. The village destroyed? I can see, building this sanctuary many years ago was a wise idea. You have lost your memory and hope to regain it by awakening the statue on the hill. 
I am afraid you are mistaken. Most who come here seek redemption from their sins. Apparently, the statue attracts individuals with a deeply rooted conviction of their own evil. Are you any different? I am one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within the sculpture and returned. Not many believe my tales. Most believe I have gone insane. It was many, many years ago. I have paid a high price for my recklessness. I have gone completely blind. Yet to this day, I struggle to recreate in my paintings what I saw on the other side. I want them to be warnings for people like yourself. Believe me when I say nothing good will await you when you cross to the other side. Nevertheless, to have the passage revealed to you, you must thrust into the statue a sword made of metal from the stars. I buried mine a long time ago. Do you remember where I buried it, Cat? Oh yes, you weren't even born back then. What do you say, Cat? Shall we help him? If my paintings and my words do not discourage you, then I can do nothing more to stop you. I can draw you a sword design that will reveal the gates behind the sculpture. The star metal you'll still need to find on your own. Before I help you, however, I will ask of you a small favor. Take this set of tools and restore 30 of my paintings. Time is slowly consuming them. In exchange for your effort, I will prepare a star sword blueprint for you. Sure. I didn't get the tools, did I? Tools. Whew. Okay. Whenever you are ready, my cat will show you the way to the paintings in need of restoration. Don't listen to the old fool. Why bother? I'll just show you the paintings behind which the old man hid the pieces of the star stored sketch. Look at the wall. I marked it with my claws. Ah, oh, there's one tiny detail. To get to the blueprints, you will need to cut the paintings up. But that's no real loss. Here's a set of knives. Go ahead and use them. The demented old man won't even notice. He's already completely blind and can hardly hear. Uh, no. Go fuck yourself. Touch these paintings up. I will be right back. Short all 30 paintings as the old man requested. Time to claim my promised reward. I sense as if my works were painted yesterday. Marvelous. Do you like my paintings now, cat? My cat is very pleased as well. I don't think he is. You have deserved your reward. I will draw you the sword design that I keep in my memory. If you are still so determined to go there, be careful. Ah, that's actually a really nice drawing. All right, bye. And your cat's, your cat's a bitch. The painter locks the cathedral door. He really values his privacy. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I can't imagine why. I am glad that even though I don't see the corpses of the knights, it appears that some of the people got away. Or at least that they won. Bring me the metal I can use to forge the star sword. Blacksmith devotedly begins crafting the sword. The notes I collected at the Mad Painter's Cathedral have proven very useful. Star Sword. Drive the blade into the sculpture on the hill. If the stories are true, a passage should be revealed to you. Good luck. Thank you, Blacksmith. Appreciate it. Time to find out the truth of all this. No, 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 don't need to talk to him. Something's happening. The sword has awakened the sculpture. I feel a force lifting me upwards as my body becomes limp, that feeling as if time had stopped, or had it ever existed. I am blinded by light. I don't know what is happening to me. I feel as if my heart were being ripped to shreds. When I open my eyes, I realize I am somewhere else completely. A farewell to winter. No way back to frozen tears. Alright guys, with that, I'm going to end this episode off. 
I like how each area gives you a great impression, but you don't stick around long enough for it to wear on you. You want to see more of the areas. Like, I want to see more of the castle. I want to see more of Frozen Tears. But I also want to progress. But in the next episode, we will see more of this area. I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far. This has been really awesome. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.